Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Balfat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the first Deputy Premier and Defence Minister of Kuwait, Sheikh Nasser Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. His Majesty congratulated the Minister for the success of the surgery he underwent and wished him abundant good health. His Majesty also requested the Minister to convey his greetings to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, and wished him abundant health and happiness and for the people of Kuwait further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting. The cabinet expressed thanks and appreciation to the representatives and chair councils for their cooperation with the government during the fourth legislative term. It hailed the cooperation between the executive and legislative branches to increase national gains. The cabinet praised the role of the legislative authority in promoting constructive parliamentary and democratic practices that consolidated the government's cooperation with the two councils. The cabinet also expressed its deepest appreciation for the supportive stances of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Kuwait and the United Arab Emirates to the Kingdom by committing to provide the necessary support to reinforce financial stability. The cabinet stated that this initiative reflects the deep-rooted historic relations between Bahrain and the aforementioned Bali countries. It expressed thanks and appreciation to the country's leaders and governments for their honorable stances which are highly appreciated by the leadership, governments and people of Bahrain. Then His Royal Highness Prime Minister ordered the Ministry of Health to create a new plan to manage medications in Salmania Medical Complex and health centers to make them available at all times. His Royal Highness also ordered to increase the strategic stock of medications to ensure their availability and for the stock to be managed by an advanced automatic system with the help of specialized companies. He also directed to give the Ministry of Health authority to directly buy medications when needed in coordination with the Ministry of Finance at the Ministerial Committee for Financial Affairs and Rationalizing Control. He directed to amend some systems in Salmania Medical Complex and Health Centers to provide medications without any delay. His Royal Highness affirmed that the interest of the patients should be the first and foremost priority of the Ministry of Health by providing the best medical and administrative services and the highest quality medications. His Royal Highness's directives were in light of his order to the Minister of Health to present a report about the lack of medication in the ministry despite a 50 million Bahraini dinars annual budget for medications. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed to speed up the implementation of old and delayed housing applications for the residents of al Deir, Samahij and Ali and include them in the nearest housing project. He also assigned the Ministry of Housing to study the establishment of a future housing project to attend to the needs of the citizens residing in Adair and Samahij and to follow up on the needs of Selmaba department residents in terms of maintenance services and facilities. He directed the Ministry of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning to follow up on the needs of Adair and directed to approve the expropriation of real estate in Adair and Old Neighborhood in Mahabar to expand roads and provide car parking lots. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister emphasized the importance of protecting laborers from the hazards of work and granting their professional health and safety. In this context, His Royal Highness followed up on the measures taken by the Ministry of Labor and Social Development to protect workers in light of the current weather conditions, hailing the Ministry's efforts to preserve the rights of workers, especially regarding the payment of their wages on time. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed the government's keenness to continue taking procedures to enhance work environments in the kingdom and develop a system of combating trafficking in persons. In this regard, His Royal Highness hailed the role of the National Committee for Combating Trafficking in Persons, led by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, praising the Kingdom for achieving Tier 1 status in U.S. Department of State Trafficking in Persons Report of 2018. The cabinet discussed redefining the crime of refunding of funding terrorism according with the kingdom's efforts on combating money laundering and funding terrorism locally and internationally in accordance with the principles and requirements of the Financial Action Task Force, the FATF. The cabinet appointed the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs to prepare a draft law amending the provisions of Law Number 54 of 2016, amending provisions of Decree Law Number 4 of 2001 regarding the prohibition and combating of money laundering and the financing 
financing of terrorism. The cabinet approved a draft law issued by the Minister of Interior that allows private sector companies to provide technical inspection for vehicles currently provided by the General Directorate of Traffic after obtaining the approval of the department to provide such service in accordance with the procedures. The cabinet discussed a memorandum of understanding between the government of Bahrain and the government of China for cooperation within the framework of the Silk Road Economic Initiative and the Silk Road of the 21st century. The cabinet also discussed opening commercial activity related to the services of guidance to companies with foreign capital by 100%. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Kuwaiti First Deputy Prime Minister and Defence Minister Sheikh Nasser Sabah Al Ahmed Al Sabah, where he required a where he inquired about his health after the successful surgery he underwent, wishing him a speedy recovery. His Royal Highness requested the Kuwaiti First Deputy Prime Minister to convey his greetings to the Emir of Kuwait, His Honour Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, wishing Sheikh Nasser abundant health and happiness and to the people of Kuwait for their advancement and prosperity. For his part, the Kuwaiti First Deputy Prime Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his kind sentiments, wishing him abundant health and happiness and the Kingdom further development and advancement. The Khalid bin Hamad tournament in its sixth edition is one of the many initiatives that aim to support the youth and sports sector in the kingdom, which is confirmed by the growing number of participants each year. More in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. The Khalid bin Hamad tournament is witnessing a noticeable development each consecutive year, which confirms the initiative's success in the kingdom, which is being showcased by the youth's keenness to participate, enriching the sports sector in the kingdom. This is the fans, what I come and I show it uh, for all the people in Bahrain, about the uh, children and the old uh, people and uh, foreigner people and... Uh, all the people he's coming to to find and play the sports. This is very nice for them, and everybody happy. When when I come, I surprised when we see all uh, this people is coming and he's playing more than uh, 1,800 people. He's playing in this sport. I want to say for the Samu Sheikh Khalid, thanks, very thanks. With the participation of 83 teams, including 35 youth centers, 16 national clubs, 8 girls teams, 8 disability teams, 10 ministries and 6 expatriate teams, the remarkable development and the large increase in the number of participants from one edition to the next shows that this tournament has had an impact with the aim to create an attractive environment for the kingdom's youth to encourage and involve more youngsters to take up the sport. I need to thank uh, uh, the Ministry of uh, Youth and uh, Sport. Uh, they are uh, really uh, organized much nice for this. The timing, they choosing uh, the place, uh, safety place. Uh, this is all of things is really great for us, Yani. As a small organization in this country, in this uh, country, uh, yani, uh, Kingdom of Bahrain, we are really happy uh, to participate in this uh, organization. For the past five years, the Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa's initiative to organize this tournament was a great platform to discover new talents in football and a great opportunity for footballers in the kingdom to flourish, which reflects His Highness's keenness on supporting the Bahraini youths in the field of sport. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim.